It's Super Starcraft Bros. Gold Wednesday. Yes. Yep. Yep. Good luck and have fun on this cast, Science Sparks. You too, Jay. Thank you. So what do we got today? Okay, Wednesday. That Bros. You know, I've been hearing a bit about this kind of problem with the new, uh... With the new, uh... Okay, there we go. With the patch? With the new patch. Patch yes. 1.5, which came out yesterday. Uh, some older replays, that you might experience some lag in them. I was reading about that on the forum. I was trying to figure out how to play the replays. Yeah, so we actually had to go through, and uh, Iron Sparks had to double-check to see if we could play the replays we had for this. And this I found week. a way. Uh, yes, but, um, so bear with us if it does freeze. Uh, it's not our fault. Uh, if you have not already installed patch 1.5, it's huge. Um, not a, nothing really game balance related in it. It unrolls the new arcade format for Battle.net, and it also did a lot of graphical tweaking. It rearranges the files of StarCraft. So it's a lot of behind-the-scenes type material. So let's hope it doesn't freeze too much during this cast. It'll All right. just be laggy. Hope, hope, hopefully it doesn't. Um, so we have a, a Protoss vs. Zerg matchup for you today on Gold Wednesday. And Iron Sparks, who's playing? Well, in the top right corner we have our red Protoss, Silverin. Right. Silverin, uh, that sounds good to me. And, oh my gosh, there's a lag. Right. And in the bottom left corner we have our blue Zerg, MCS, Target. Alright, so Target and Silverin, but we're going in slow motion. Like this. Okay. Why are you not going along with it? Because it's frustrating. Your trash can or the the, the lag? Oh. Hey, it, ma it makes it feel like we're playing like during the beginning of StarCraft 2. <laughs> um. So let's see. Droning up for uh, MCS. I don't even think he laid down or threw down a uh, supply depot yet. It does look like he's trying to expand, but it looks like that probe might have been being main. And uh, Gateway just finishing for Silverin. Is that the right spot? It does look a little far away, but it'll... I think it's right. Alright, and then we have the spawn tool going down, so we did do that 15 hatch, just waited for the probe, the scanner probe to leave, that way you could just get down. Why do you talk so loud? I don't talk loud. What are you talking about? <laughs> I never talk loud! Uh, so that spawning pool is about 50% done! <laughs> and uh... That hurt. The Protoss player does because... This is hey, this is the only spot that I burned my tongue on some soup. Sorry. Yes, he did get his expansion. Um, he is throwing his cyber down at the top of the ramp to provide a wall, so we'll probably see a zealot pop out and act as the doorway for that. Um, I like that Target is sitting his overlord over the natural of Silverin, so he's getting a ton of scouting information done. And good call. So what do you expect out of these two players besides a, a very slow and well thought out attack? I expect lag, because that's all I'm getting. That's fine. So um, <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, what do you think about the new arcade format for StarCraft? Um, all right, so I thanks think, for sharing Iron Sparks. I think once I get used to it, I, I think, um, did you check out like your profile shot? Yeah, I know. I know. They need to fix some. Stuff. Blizzard has said that uh, they've had some issues with the ladder data. Yeah. Uh, nothing's lost. So if you go onto the arcade and you see, oh, oh my God, they they did not put put me down as being a gold level one v one player. Yeah, because right now I'm I'm yeah, supposedly you're, platinum. You're platinum. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry. None of the data's lost. They're just they're slowly. Um, it's just uh, visual stuff. Yeah, it's just they're, they're connecting the data the databases to the visuals, and it might take some time. Uh, it looks like the lag has subsided for a moment here. Um, both players still macking up. We have two gateways just about to finish for Silverin. So we might see maybe just a basic four gate or maybe a three gate robo. Yeah, I would, I would expect to see a three gate robo since he hasn't gotten that fourth gate down yet. Uh, he has the resources. Gas wise, what are we sitting at for Silverin? I know. He's just on that one oh, gas. Oh. Uh, well, unless he throws down three more assimilators, we might just see a, a four gate. Um. And uh, Target is taking his third. Yep, kudos to Target for taking that third. It's uh, very, very early. But well, uh, he knows that since the Protoss player is expanding, he doesn't really have much to worry about. Yep, and he does have that Overlord sitting over there by the natural, and nothing's come out so far. 
Uh, he did move it away to get away from any units that might pop out from those gateway units, like that sentry, which, uh, good to see that Silverin got the sentry out. Great unit to have against Zerg, and it'll just sit there and accumulate some, uh, some energy. As the slag passes by, like a, an evil floating thunderstorm cloud that decides to knock out your power. We haven't had that happen. I don't think you've been alive as when that's happened in Vegas. But the power goes out? By lightning? I've been alive. By lightning? Yeah. When's the last time lightning knocked out the power in Vegas? The last time we had a 100 year flood. Power didn't go off of that. Yeah, it was probably around that time. Let's see, target. 2000. <laughs> 10 years, 12 years ago. In Vegas, a flood to us is when it rains in the same spot for three hours. That generally would be a flood. That actually, that, that like <laughs> soaked houses about three feet in water. It was, it was bad. Let's see, so, work detect is done. Uh, he still only has three gates, though. Target just threw down bolt. Uh, four or similar uh, extractors, so it'll probably be, uh, yeah, he's taking up to that lower tech. We'll probably see some, uh, uh, we're probably either going to see Muta or Roaches. Yeah, we're expecting to see Roaches, although Muta could be a very potential thing, so there's nothing you can do about them. Mm -hmm. Um, we do see those additional gas going down for the Protoss player as well. I would still like to see him throw down some more production. Buildings. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely using his resources. He's kept them uh, uh, below 200 minerals. He's kind of going up now, but he just spent. So he's doing good on spending, um, but he really should at least get either another gateway down or throw down a robo. Uh, but he is now supply blocked and no pylons in sight. As you target to throw down the two Evo chamber as well as the Roach Warren. And you know what? Target! Definitely not getting supply blocked for a while. Um, I think he might just do a mass swell of roaches. That would be pretty smart, you know, get a... He's sitting on enough gas for it right now. Yeah, if you just get a bunch of roaches, just march right in, you can take out this small army. Yep, uh, um, he is working on the upgrades, he's working on range plus one and armor, and he just finished a good uh, wave of drones. Um, I, I see maybe one more larva injection, and then he's going all roach. Yeah, he has a he does have an economic advantage right now ahead. By oh, like really? Fifty-one to thirty-eight. I think it's slight. Yeah. Uh, great macro out of target right now, and there here come the roaches. Eight coming in right now. Uh, two forges going down for silver, and he did it on supply block, but I don't think he's added on another gateway yet. Uh, no, he did get that, uh, Twilight Council getting blinked, he really needs to add on either another gateway or get a robo out, because he's really going to need those immortals to combat those roaches. Yep. Although he does choose to instead add on two more gateways, which, uh, it Which, I mean, help, the but... Blink Stalkers with good micro, he is throwing down the Templar Archives right now. Um, I just really would have rather seen the robo. Yeah, uh, the immortals would definitely be a better choice than, uh, High Templar or even the Archons. Mm -hmm. Um... One thing that I did notice when we were kind of hovering over Silverin's base is he's not using his Chrono Boost energy, which is a crime if you're Protoss. Well, he did. He is starting to use it on yep. his upgrades. He just used some from his, his uh, natural yeah. expo. He's using okay, it good. all on upgrades. He'll probably also Chrono out Storm once he gets started. You just, you never, I mean, it's kind of that moment when you realize you have a ton of Chronos. It's like the same moment if you're a Terran player and you realize you could drop 5,000 mules. Yeah, you're like, oh my god, I could have had so much more money. Yeah, but dropping all those mules at once actually help you. Do you know how rewarding that feeling is? When you get to drop a mule on every single mineral patch? No, because I play Protoss. You, well, you should try it. Alright, here's the pack of uh, roaches. Plus one, plus one is almost finished, including uh, reconstituted... Whatever that... Guile reconstitution. Yeah, it's a guile reconstitution. Someone had fun naming the upgrades at Blizzard, but... uh. We now have faster, faster roaches, and he might be raiding. Wait, he might be raiding for the plus the one, you know? Well, eh, it eh, was just eh? supply block, so he's probably waiting for that, so we can get even more roaches out. And on the protest side, we do have this uh, arc, archon out. We do. Uh, uh, he'll do a good amount of damage versus the bio, which all Zerg is considered bio. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't, I don't know. If he finally does have this uh, robot facility out, so we can start seeing the mortals. So he'll probably skip that and go straight for Colossus. I'm, I'm actually feeling an observer. Um, well, yeah, I hope he get that. <laughs> he is just getting his high temple on four. The archons is not getting storm, which is uh, pretty common since yeah, just uh, using for the, the archon. more an economic way to get it than DTs. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Now it's cheaper to get archons uh, gas wise if you go through the high temple, right? No. And here we go. All the roaches marching in. The force fields aren't really doing anything. No. Uh, these archons are doing a lot of damage, though. Um, 
A little bit of funneling caused by those force fields that are falling back. There's no cannons at the natural. Um, I don't know. I kind of think Target has this in the bag now. Yeah, he just doesn't have the units required to combat all these roaches. Yep, Archons are down. He's working in another wave of Zealots and Stalkers, but... This is not going to be up. You really need those Immortals early on. You need those yep. entries to get those key force fields, or else you're just going to lose the roaches. 10 out of 10 times. Yeah, it looks like uh, Silver and Supply is down to 54 and Target is sitting at now 164. And it's just going to keep going up. Yep, he has reinforcing roaches streaming in now. He has uh, three packs coming in from his base and another seven are just about to finish. Uh, that, I believe this is GG for uh, Silver and... Yeah, there's just no way to combat this many roaches. I mean, there's probably about uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we have this unit tab. Uh, we're looking at 47 roaches. Like I said, a lot. Uh, Target just excellent, excellent macro play. His his economy was perfect, perfect. Not even just for like gold level. I think I think Target will have no issue getting into platinum and maybe even diamond. Well, it's just because the pros player to polite no pressure, so he was able to safely get that third and keep it up. Mm -hmm. And also, you didn't really see much of a wall off or any type of defense at that natural expansion. No, because normally you do see the forge track expand. Yeah, just, especially against Zerg. Yeah, that's like to a get rid game. of any of those scouting or even uh, attacking packs of links. But I'd say a good game for Wednesday. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, I'm glad that the the replay worked with the new patch. It was just laggy, just like the yeah, next two will be. It wasn't too bad. Give us more time to talk about the patch. Alright, um, if you have not booted up StarCraft in, in a couple days, you might want to boot that up and get patch uh, 1.5. It does. Food. It rolls out the arcade, and it does take anywhere from 15 to 60 minutes on a normal download. That's what Blizzard called it in their update. So be warned. But if you have really excellent connection, you just fly through it. Yeah, if you got a good internet connection, you'll, you'll be fine. Um, and actually, uh, it redoes the loader uh, to mimic uh, World of Warcraft. So it's well, and it's also, cool. it's also like the Diablo loader, I think. Yeah, they, they have the new loaders. That way you can play while while updates. So non-essential things are still uploaded. Yeah. So uh, that's been Gold Wednesday. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the game. Subscribe. Share it with all your friends and family and their family and friends. And complete strangers. Yeah, always share with strangers. Always. It's it's the it's safe, safe thing, thing to do. And jump in their cars. No. Don't listen to Iron Sparks. Don't take their candy. Stop it. <laughs> Don't talk to strangers. Just family and friends. So uh, good luck and have fun on your future StarCraft endeavors. We will see you on Thursday. GG. GG.